This one goes out to all of you Pebble users out there. Now, a few days ago, one of the most anticipated developments in the Pebble ecosystem actually finally happened. It was the Pebble App Store. Unfortunately, much to the ire of all Android users out there, uh, the Android Pebble App Store was not quite ready yet. And if you looked on the subreddit, there was a lot of anger over this. Luckily, uh, a few hours after the iOS Pebble App Store was put out, a beta for the updated version on the Android ecosystem was released. And I've been using it for the last few days, and I wanted to show you what it was all about. Hey, it's Josh Vigar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is a first look at the Pebble App Store. Now, before we get started, I did want to just let everybody know that this pebble right here that I'm wearing on my signature grunge cuff <laughs> is uh, an acquisition that I had over Christmas. I've had this since the end of December, and uh, I've really just been loving this pebble. A full review of the pebble will be coming very soon. I'm mostly waiting for uh, the software, the, uh, the firmware 2.0 to be fully released because there will be a lot of enhancements that further create a better experience on the pebble smartwatch. And it is in that lens that I'm going to to be doing a full review of what has become one of my favorite peripherals in the mobile space. All right, and here is my Pebble smartwatch right here on the right, and then my Nexus 5, which is what I use it the most on. So, quick history lesson. When you used to get apps for your Pebble smartwatch, you would have to go to various websites online that had uh, developers consolidated with their um, software that they've created. And uh, it wasn't that hard to get apps, but uh, by consolidating everything into one place, Pebble is pretty much trying to make the process even easier. And one of the other reasons why that is important is because if uh, you look at the apps that you could download, Download for your Pebble, they have to be downloaded onto your phone as well. The vast majority of them had to be apps on your phone on top of the apps that went to the smartwatch. And what that meant is when you download these apps right here onto your phone, they would take up all of the space in your app drawer. Uh, for example, you can see the new Pebble app right there. I would have lines and lines of different Pebble apps just taking up space in the app drawer. So by whittling down the number um, that you need and by consolidating everything into just the one Pebble app itself, it really freed up a lot of space inside of the app drawer. So thank God for that. So with that in mind, we'll just go ahead and jump into the app itself. Now remember, this is a beta app, so obviously it's not going to be um, completely polished. Uh, mostly the speed is something that uh, users are going to find is a little bit lacking. So as you can see here, we're looking at the actual Pebble itself, my Pebble. And uh, it, for anyone who already knows, uh, because they have a Pebble, you can only have up to eight watch faces or apps installed at one time onto your smartwatch. So he, those are the eight up here. I have things from timers to, I even have a sleep tracker right here because there's a companion app for sleep is Android. And uh, I also have Yelp and Foursquare to help me look for places to eat from time to time. And of course, Music Boss to help me uh, control the music on my phone uh, without having to take it out. But one of the great things about the App Store, again, is the fact that um, it has this locker here on the bottom half. You used to have to download an app that would consolidate your smartwatch apps into one place. That way, if you wanted to uninstall one in order to install yet another one, then you can go back and forth. Well, now that's part of the Pebble app itself, and that's really awesome. But of course, what we're looking for here are the new installation apps and watch faces. So as you can see here, it's not necessarily the fastest app. Um, it takes a little while to load everything up. But once you get to the actual ecosystem itself, you'll find that there's a lot. There are thousands and thousands of different watch faces and apps that you can install onto your Pebble smartwatch. And they're all consolidated right here. And they all look really cool. Um, I generally don't put watch faces on my smartwatch because I actually really like the, uh, the worded one right here. Um, of course, there are the pre-built-in ones that you have aside from that, but I generally don't put watch faces on here because I focus on the apps. But if you want to change the look of your smartphone when it is, uh, your smartwatch rather, when it is just a watch, this is the place to do it. And you'll be able to find all of them here. You have uh, categories for most loved and the pics that Pebble likes. And then a nice splash screen at the top just showing you a few of them in particular, like the chrono code. So let's look at the apps. And uh, the apps are categorized in very particular ways. Um, there is actually a category for fitness, as you're going to see right there. Um, you have the same uh, splash up here that will show just sort of the featured ones, like a Pebble Camera to be able to control the camera on your smartphone, Yelp, which is the one I talked about earlier for finding um, places to eat or places to, you have to find places nearby. And then you have the categories here for daily usage, tools and utilities, uh, notifications as well. Um, I use the notification center rather than the built-in notification um, 
uh, functionality that's on the Pebble, well, primarily because I like the way it's displayed a little bit better. And then you also have the categories down here for weekly top picks, the most loved, and the essentials. Uh, so you'll be able to whittle through all of the different apps. There's a bunch of them. Uh, you might even have to search for them if you need to. Like for example, uh, I was looking for a Pomodoro timer. If you don't know Pomodoro, it's a way of keeping yourself focused on your task by allotting a certain amount of time to the task itself and then allotting a little bit of time for rest afterwards. It's just a nice way of keeping yourself focused. Uh, in order for me to find the one that I have used since I first had my Pebble, I had to search for Pomodoro and it's going to try and search through the entire ecosystem to find it. And finally, there you go. And there are a couple of them and the one that I use the most is PBL Palm, Pebble Palm. And that one I wasn't able to find easily inside of the tools and utilities category, but by searching for Pomodoro, it was easy to find right there. So aside from all of that, it really is just a matter of the fact that uh, the, the Pebble App Store is, is making the life a lot easier for Pebble users by putting everything into one place. Um, it's not even trying to necessarily control um, what types of apps come out. It really is just creating a place for all of them to be under one roof. And it really helps a lot. Um, other functionality like that locker, which I showed you earlier, is another great reason why the App Store is, uh, is highly anticipated for all of us users. And so there you have it for the first look at the Pebble App Store for Android, which is still in its beta phase. Hopefully the full release will come out very soon along with 2.0, which is what I'm waiting for to really show you what the Pebble can do. For all of you Pebble users out there, you can find the beta version uh, at androidauthority.com. We have a link available for you there. And for all of you users who are still debating on whether or not you should get a Pebble, don't worry, I've got your back and I'll tell you exactly why I think this is one of the best wearable tech that you can get today. So as always, thank you guys very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this look at the Pebble App Store. Remember, we have great content just like this and a lot more here at the Android Authority YouTube channel, not just from the likes of me, but also from Joe, Jace, and Kevin, the Tech Ninja. So drop us likes on our videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up because we love seeing that. And then subscribe to our channel if you haven't already because Android Authority is your source for all things Android.